This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From website and online store to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful presence online or to run your business. Now, more on this later, but for now, <laughs> I'm in trouble. Hey guys, salut, this is Alex, uh, still the same person, still willing to perfect the ultimate Neapolitan pizza at home, but there has been some change recently. No? Doesn't ring a bell? I am fully back in my studio this week. This is the end of the confinement, which means I won't be working from home. I can't say I'm not happy. It's very good to, to be back in this sacred place. One thing I'm a bit less pleased with is this. I thought this studio oven was similar to my home oven. I thought I would be able to bake beautiful Neapolitan pizza. Boy, was I wrong. That P doesn't stand for pizza, for that matter. It stands for program. It basically means that I won't be able to bake completely puffed up Neapolitan pizza. It also means that my brand new three centimeter refractory stone is now completely useless with a low temperature like this one is able to reach at the moment. With this, you do nothing. You do nothing. <laughs> Why am I not baking my pizzas at home, basically? It's simple. Work is work, home is home. Just going back and forth would make no sense between these two. No, no, no. I want to be able to bake my pizzas in this place where the magic should happen. I'm gonna have to find a way to work with this one. Yeah, maybe that's not only bad. Maybe I can put a bit more sense, a bit more respect in the word hacking. Okay, a quick disclaimer before we start. Uh, do not try any of what you're about to see at home. There are so many risks involved. Electric shock, severe burns, fire hazard. Let me handle this, okay? Why? Because I'm, I'm an electrical engineer first, but also I'm a performer, so. This is the program, that would be the ground. This is a simplified view of my oven. The controller, this is the brain of the oven. It detects the oven temperature thanks to the temperature sensor. The oven temperature reaches a set value, then the oven stops using the heating element. On, off, on, off. The temperature inside an oven is never stable. It's always oscillating. Now let's come up to something more exciting. What I want to achieve. My controller, my world, my rules. This will be connected to the oven's heating element will also have access to the oven's temperature. I can't use temperature sensor because it's a different technology. I will be able to turn the heating element on and off at my will. You could see this system as a parasite. Why do I keep both systems alive at the same time? Why do I not just replace the existing one? Mine is designed to bake only Neapolitan pizzas. I like using my oven for, for other things as well, like roasting vegetables or baking bread. So I need to keep it. In the future, I mean, who knows? Okay, so this is my test setup. Controller works like this. This is the temperature I want. This is the temperature it gets from the probe right there, which is very close to the heater, okay? The controller is activating, is turning on and off that remote switch right there, which then activates uh, the heater in order to reach the desired temperature that I input earlier. The reason why I uh, did this little setup was just to get a proof of concept. And to be honest, I think I've got it. There are three things remaining. The first one is just to sort out the values. There must be some setting because the values are all over the place. Second, I need to use a proper probe because this is just a hack that I made, but I've ordered one that should be perfect for this oven right there. And the third action is basically to take all this and to drop it magically inside this oven right there. 
I could be staring at that light bulb turning on and off and on and off all day long. I can't see much <laughs> no more. Okay, so I'm still waiting for a few parts to complete my build. So in, in, in the meantime, I thought we should be working on the oven stand. One of the very few furniture here that is not on wheels. It's gonna make my life easier and safer. If there's any fire hazard, because I'm playing with fire, I will have an easy access to the back of it so I can just <laughs> extinguish that, that, that risk, basically. So let's work on it. My oven is gonna get pretty hot, so I don't need walls to get it even hotter. Especially with flaky wood. Flaky wood is the absolute worst. I'm just gonna do my stuff, okay? Cool. So uh, the oven is on wheels now and that's amazing, but it also comes with a little problem attached to it. I'm gonna need a longer cable than the actual one. Take that opportunity to improve things a bit. Where's all the fun otherwise? So this is what I've got in the end. Click. Just called a, a socket and a plug brilliant. But anyways, this is gonna allow me to place basically my oven wherever I want. This is also gonna be able to withstand all the wattage, all the power, all the amps that I need for my beast of a pizza oven. Okay, it still is a domestic oven, but it charges like an electric car basically. <laughs> In theory, everything is connected where it should be. Wish me luck. Right, so if I did my job well, the oven at the moment should be heating up using the top element. But I want to do this with you, okay? This is an important moment for this oven. It might be the end of it. Without further ado, let's just do this. I don't even have to put my hand close to it. I can see it. Oh, it's definitely getting hot. So we're currently at 31. The switch seems to be in action because there's a red light on it. I'm gonna go as far as calling this a success. Success, 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 and double success. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I wasn't sure that this was gonna work. I thought, well, maybe there's a security somewhere that I'm bypassing and the oven is just gonna give me the middle finger. Apparently not. This was made to be hacked. I should avoid touching anything because nothing's safe at the moment. But that's something to keep in mind. I mean, for me, could you? That would be a nice, like, title for the video. I got it electrocuted. Okay, let's just think about what's left. First of all, I need to integrate all these components inside the casing. I'm gonna make it look good, basically. Second, there is much more than cosmetic modifications. I need to use good components. These are not exactly suited for the job. I also need to do a better job with this probe integrated inside the oven, probably a close to the existing one. The door will be back on where everything will, will be properly closed. Then it will be time to bake pizzas. <laughs> the length I would go to bake pizza. A man must have a code and pizza is mine, okay? An open oven in a very unsafe setup with wires sticking out everywhere. What a code. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching this episode and I will catch up with you in the next one. Bye bye, salut. Okay, let's talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace has powerful blogging tools to share recipes, photos, videos, and recommendations. You can categorize, share, and schedule, basically organize all your posts to make your content work for you.
With Squarespace mailing list, you can get the right message to the right people, collect email addresses through your website and send subscribers the information they care about the most with a unique mailing list. Every design automatically includes a unique mobile experience that matches the overall style of your website so your content will look great on any device. Squarespace template design has been crafted by their world-class design team. They're created with modern browsers and mobile devices in mind and they employ the latest HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In addition to using third-party domains, you can purchase domains directly from Squarespace and I call this extremely convenient. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash frenchguy and get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or a website. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Bye bye. Ciao. What kind of lunatic am I? Salut. Ah, that's better.